The end of another round is upon us. The final round two battle coming right off of the heels of their victories in round one. We have two ultra premium offerings, both from that final set of four out of the 12 offering range coming from Breakaway Matcha. Today we have Daphne going up against Riku. Two ultra premium offerings. It should prove to be a very interesting battle today. Let's get reacquainted with them. First up to Daphne. A little bit more of the um, baking spice, cinnamony, nutmeggy, all spicy combination coming through after it's set for a little bit. Still just ultra creamy and smooth. A little bit of the um, zucchini also coming through on Daphne. For the Riku, there's a little bit of something else happening in the in the Riku. Just still also very smooth, creamy, rich. Umami bombs, both of them. Man, this is tough. <laughs> if something happens just at the very first taste with the Riku that I can't quite put words to yet. I think I know which way I'm leaning. I'm gonna down the last of each of these. Right now I'm gonna down one, give it a minute to kind of get all the aftertaste. Do the second one, also give that one a minute. Aftertaste, all of that will be cut out. So that's why I'm explaining what I'm gonna do here. So you're not just sitting there watching me sit here. For a minute. After that, I should have a, a clear winner and we'll find out who's moving into round three. All right, so that's the end of the Daphne. Now, when I said sit with it for a minute, I mean literally a minute. I'm timing it with my watch here. It wasn't just a general kind of sit a minute and think about things. It literally waited a full 60 seconds. There's just no, there's nothing bad about that aftertaste. It's just ultra smooth, delicious, umami, bomb, vegetal greatness. Super, super good. Now we'll move over and finish off the Riku. Let that one sit for a minute. Then we'll give our final decision. All right, and that's one minute. Both have exceptionally long finishes. The whole one minute in, still tasting, still delicious. You just can't find a trace of bitterness between either of them. With that said, I have made up my mind and the decision well, close is clear for me. In this case, in my battle, for my tastes, I'm gonna go with the Riku. Daphne getting kicked out in a round two knockout, and Riku moving in to the coveted third round. And with that happening, our bracket now looks like this. And I can tell you more about Daphne. So Daphne, of course, coming from Breakaway Matcha, the 30 gram container, comes in at an eye-watering $209, or $6.97 per gram. So for one uh, breakaway matcha style, one gram to 60 mil, you're looking at about a $7 glass of matcha right there. Season and cultivar, unknown. Origin, this comes from Ogura Uji in Kyoto, Japan, of course. And the description, following in that wonderfully floral language of breakaway matcha that they use on their higher-end products. Just when you thought matcha couldn't possibly get any better, along comes a blend from yet another obsessive farmer that startles even us. It's remarkable that this stuff is legal. It's as if visitors from another planet designed the perfect food slash drink for humans, one that makes them perfectly nourished, sated, optimally healthy, insanely productive, and, well, we might as well say it, Buddha beings. So much natural sweetness, nary a bitter note to be found, and a finish that seems like it's never going to stop. It's liquid meditation, and it's hard to imagine any beverage tasting better than this. It is supremely delicious, but I like the little bit something else that was happening in the Riku that I can't, can't quite put my finger on. It just gave it a little bit more, something a little bit more interesting about the Riku. All right, that does it. Finished yet another round, round two down, and now we're moving into round three. Should be very exciting. Now we're really starting to narrow down the field and find that ultimate matcha. All right, see you for our first battle in round three tomorrow.